happy Sunday to you. Hope everybody had a great weekend. I'm feeling a little bit country tonight. We've got Johnny Cash, Folsom Prison. It was recorded January 13th, 1968, and released, I think, May of that year. 45 minutes and 5 seconds long, and it's outlaw country rockabilly genre on the Columbia label. Produced by Bob Johnson, performed by Johnny Cash, June Carter, Marshall Grant, W.S. Holland, Carl Perkins, who played Blue Suede Shoes, Statler Brothers, and the photography is by Jim Marshall. It's ranked 318th on the Greatest All-Time Albums, and I love it. There were two shows, one at 9.40 a.m. and the other at 12.40 p.m., just in case the first one wasn't satisfactory. And they rehearsed for two days, which was uncommon for Johnny and his bands, to make sure this thing went right. He had a, a lot of compassion for the downtrodden. A little, a little thing that happened was the last day of rehearsals, then-Governor Ronald Reagan showed up to lend his support to Johnny and what he was doing here. And I think one of the coolest things about this, when you listen to it, is Cash closed the show with Greystone Chapel, which was written by a Folsom inmate, Glenn Shirley. So, please check that out. I'm looking at my idiot sheet, according to Johnny, on this album. And uh, he had recorded in 1953, or written, rather, uh, Folsom Prison Blues when he was in Germany here in the Air Force. It was inspired by a 1951 film, Inside the Walls of Folsom Prison. Even though he did not really, he never spent any time in jail himself, he had a, a, a compassion for people and believed in second chances. And when he stepped on stage on this concert, it would change his life. He was in rough shape. His record label threatened to drop him, and he was addicted to pills. He was out of control. His personal life was in tatters, and he had recently thought about suicide. This was his day, his rebirth. Both personal and professional, a renaissance. And uh, some of my favorite songs are Folsom Prison Blues, of course. Give My Love to Rose, Orange Blossom Special, Dirty Old Egg Sucking Dog. Yeah, it's a fun one. But uh, like I said, never spending time in prison himself, he cared about these folks. And after the release of the original Folsom, City, uh, Folsom Prison Blues, people, uh, inmates were asking, when are you going to come and play? So he did. His first performance was Huntsville State Prison in Texas in 1957, and San Quentin in 69 after this one. And then P.A. Ostricker, Sweden, 1973, and then Tennessee State Prison in 74. See, Johnny believed that compassion for prisoners could lead to the redemption for us all. And as a kid, I, I realized that, listening to this album. And, uh, and I'm going to share some facts here. His last public performance was July 5, 2003, a 30-minute set at the Carter Family Fold in Hilton's, Virginia. He died September 12, 2003, five months after his wife, June. And uh, he liked to stay with uh, the Times. He worked with a lot of great artists, Bob Dylan, and even Trent Reznor's uh, Hurt on American 4, The Man Comes Around. He worked with Rick Rubin again, and it was Nine Inch Nails, uh, originally did it, written by Trent Reznor. It's great. Check it out. I mean it. This man did so much. He uh, written 1,500 songs, and he recorded, uh, I'm going to cheat here, 96 albums, and uh, his last song he wrote was Like the 309, which was proud and defiant for his music farewell. Again, I want to remind you to feel free to go to my uh, stories, my highlights under 20, check out some of the album, listen to a little bit of the music, leave a comment, uh, say how you're feeling, and if you know the album, what your favorite song is, and if you don't, please give it a listen. Again, I hope everybody's staying uh, safe, healthy, sane, and doing well. Be happy, my friends. Take care.